Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Missy and this video today is all about Paul and his five month update. So Paul was born on January 24th, so on June 24th, 2020, he turned five months. I can't believe it, it's gone by so fast. He's growing so fast. And we just wanted to update friends, family, or whoever else is watching this video on what has been happening with him. So sleeping habits, we were lucky. Paul has been sleeping through the night pretty much since maybe the first or second month, something like that. But we did get a little bit of the four month sleep regression in the sense that he stopped sleeping all the way through the morning and kind of wakes up around three or four in the morning. Usually he needs a diaper change and I nurse him back to sleep. It's not a big deal for us, but that's pretty much the only impact that we've noticed. Nap time, we've kind of dropped to two naps. He does a morning nap and an afternoon nap. The morning nap is usually, he only gives me about 20, 30 minutes. And then the afternoon nap ranges anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. There's really kind of no pattern. It's just whatever his little body needs that day. The biggest changes we've noticed over the last month is he's definitely more wiggly, wiggling in his crib. He's kind of spinning around, break dancing as I like to call it, not rolling over just yet. He's getting there. He kind of rolls on his side and assisted. We can roll him on his tummy. He hasn't rolled from his um, tummy onto his back yet, but definitely getting there probably in the next few weeks, I'm guessing. Tummy time has definitely become a lot easier this month. He doesn't seem to hate it as much. There's no kicking and screaming when he does do tummy time. But after a while, about like two or three minutes, he'll start crying and want, you know, help to get pulled over. At this point, being five months, he's still exclusively breastfed. I don't think we plan on changing any of that. We do plan on introducing probably purees and baby led weaning or feeding, probably not till month six when he starts getting an interest. He's just now kind of getting an interest in what we're eating and drooling a lot. We've got a lot of drooling going on. I think teething might have been started. Yeah. Oh, he's sleepy. Good. I'm definitely grabbing things more often. He even grabs my skin, which is kind of cute, but then he digs his nails into it. Um, his nails grow like crazy. I feel like I'm constantly cutting his nails more than mine. I would say he's definitely more vocal this month. Not as vocal as uh, some babies. I think, I feel like he's more of a watcher. He loves watching things. He watches our dog Mo run around. He will watch one of us walk around. If we call his name, he'll follow us. Laughing, he still loves to laugh at my husband. Daddy can make him laugh like crazy. I've gotten a couple giggles here and there, but nothing like dad can, right? Dad's gotten a couple belly laughs out of him. And Mo has too. When our dog Mo kind of goes crazy at night, he thinks it's pretty funny, which is adorable. <laughs> likes he's starting to like bath time we've taken bath time actually outside because it's so hot and then we kind of do naked time which is great for he'll a little bit of diaper rash that he gets here and there he used to hate that so that's wonderful that he likes bath time um, he loves being sang to so if he's sometimes upset i can sing to him abc's or twinkle twinkle little star and sometimes it will calm him down he loves our dog mo now he watches mo walking around. Um, Mo will kind of play with him, licking his toes, and Paul loves it, which is so cute. I'm so excited for them to have a bonding relationship. Dislikes, um, not too, too many. He sometimes doesn't really like to be alone. I try to give him a little bit of alone time, playing time on the floor with toys. I'm usually just a couple feet away, but he's starting to not really that be a little bit more clingy to me, which makes me think he's starting to teeth as well. Doesn't like to be in those bouncer seats for very long um, anymore. So those we're going to have to probably pack up and put in the basement. It's pretty much just either laying on the floor, being held, or here that will help him assisted like sit up. He likes that too. Um, does not like forced tummy time. If he's not in the mood for tummy time, then he's just not going to have it. Self-soothing is another thing that he's not really too good at. So if he's napping and wakes up, we've been trying to let him, you know, self-soothe for a couple minutes it doesn't seem to be working so that's definitely something we're going to be working on with him the swing i don't know what is up with him most babies that i hear about love the swing fall asleep in their swing he hates it he's never liked it um i keep trying to see if that's a way to get him to take a nap no he doesn't he still just does not like his swing this month with month five we did not have a pediatric appointment we had one with month four and we're going to have one in July for month six. So I don't have his height or length. When I measured it a few weeks ago, it was just a tape, like a fabric tape measure. 
I got 26.5 inches, which is the 93 percentile. I have a feeling, you know, based on the fact that me and my husband are rather tall, that he's going to be a tall guy. And we do take his weight. We do have a scale because we had weight issues in the second month. So he, he is weighing at 15 pounds, five ounces, which is the 26th percentile for him. Other changes this month, clothing wise, this is not new. I think about two or three weeks ago, he sized out of all his three to six month clothing. So he's now been in probably about two weeks. He's been in the six to nine month clothes. We noticed it first with the onesies actually. He is cloth diaper so that does kind of contribute to the bulk of it but the shoulders were starting to pull away on his onesies so we switched those first and then a lot of his PJs the feet were just pushing too long. They weren't long enough for him so we had to size up. For looks wise I think he looks pretty much about the same. His hair is misleading because we still have the cradle cap issues which is so gross. Our pediatrician said it was fine. It will deal with itself on its own. I keep putting lotion on it. It doesn't really do anything, but she told us not to pick it. So we're not picking it, but it gives like a kind of a reddish hue, but that's actually just the, the dead skin. But I think his hair, if you look at the back, is kind of like a light brown, which is more my natural color and my husband's too. So I have a feeling he's going to have light brown hair. He has bright blue eyes. It's kind of hard to see here. Well, that's pretty much all the updates we have for month five. He's really getting into such a great time. Not that it, he wasn't a great time earlier, but their personality just comes out. And he's so much more fun and loves to giggle. He's goofy. He somehow developed this fake laugh or fake cough that he does randomly. And he knows that he think you know it's funny. So he does it which is for a laugh, which I think is hilarious. That's pretty much all the updates I have for this little guy. Hey, you look at the camera. I'll include some photos and some videos of um, where he is now. Hey, Lily, you want to say hi? <laughs> if you like this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. You say bye. Bye. You say bye. You say bye. You say bye. You say bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, you did. Yeah.